Right next to me is the 2024 Nissan Sentra SV. And this is actually the middle, middle level Nissan sedan. But what do I mean by that? Well, there's S, SV, and SR trims, and this is the SV trim. So it's right smack dab in the middle of the Sentras. But then there's different models of the sedan. So the Versa, the entry level, the Sentra right here, and the Altima, the higher end one. So this is the middle trim and the middle model of all Nissan sedans. And I'll be taking you through the ins, the outs, the front and back, and seeing, is it worth it? Because this vehicle is $25,000. So. Is it worth it? And before we get started, I wanna say a big thank you to Executive Jeep Nissan of North Haven, Connecticut for allowing me to use this vehicle for the day. Their information will be linked down in the description below. Starting off the front, it's just pretty ordinary. There's really nothing going on. You have halogen headlights, halogen turn signals. This does not have LEDs. You have this cool little plastic piece on the side that is just fake plastic. There's no airflow through that. The front is is nice. You got the big Nissan badge. It kind of looks like a V. It, it's pretty aggressive looking at it. But this big plastic up here, there's a little airflow, I guess, in the middle to the engine and then down here, but not as much. They should open this whole thing up. And then you got the license plate holder. Now to access the engine, you have to open up probably one of the heaviest hoods in vehicle history. But once that's up, you got a two liter naturally aspirated engine that produces 149 horsepower and 145 foot pounds of torque, all going through a CVT transmission and to the front wheels. But don't let that low power fool you because this vehicle makes it up with its efficiency. With an average of 30 miles to the gallon in the city, forwarding the highway for a combined total of 34 miles to the gallon. The key fob of this vehicle has remote start, lock, unlock, and hit that, and the trunk opens up. Tap that twice, hold the remote start, and the vehicle starts up. With the key in your pocket, you can just go up, hit this, and it locks and unlocks the car. And that's also on the other side. And this has 16 inch alloy rims with all season weather tires. Open up the rear door, you're greeted to you know, plastic back here. You got hard touch plastic all around, just everywhere. But then you have this really cool carbony fiber bit. I mean, it's totally plastic fake, but it looks pretty cool. But at least when you rest your arm, that's a leather type material. So it's nice there. A little spot for like a cup or some snacks, speaker grill. And hop it in the rear. It's all cloth boots in this. But the leg room is absolutely phenomenal. This is set to my driving position. I'm 5'8", so I'm not the tallest. So, you know, if you're six foot, maybe that'll be a little back. One USB port, the middle seat, let's see how the middle seat is. Eh, I mean, you do have to man spread, but you got all that room there for the other passenger. I say you can fit three people comfortably in here. It's not bad. These cloth seats are nice. But the only thing I gotta say is there is no rear cup holder armrest. Why? Now, like, I guess you can use that as a cup holder, like there, but you've got two of those, and you know if you have a big drink, that's not gonna fit. So people in the rear are gonna have to put the cups on their lap, because that's not gonna work. But the front is where this vehicle shines. So you open up the front door, and you have soft touch plastic up there, this nice leathery type material all across the side, leathery type material there, more storage, speaker grill, and one window, one automatic, one touch window. The rest are not one touch. Your mirror controls, lock, unlock. Then down here, you have a Sentra door sill. So that's pretty cool. And you walk in, you see Sentra. These seats are actually heated front seats. They're not leather, they're cloth, but it's nice. It's manually adjusted both sides. But again, that's not bad. Once you set it into one position, you're all good. Turn on the vehicle, the simple button, push to start. And when the vehicle is on, you agree to a center gauge cluster. Now you still do have two analogs on the side for your RPMs and your speed on the, the right side, but in the center, you have some pretty cool stuff. So you have your miles per hour digitally there. You hit this to scroll by, and then you hit that. You have fuel economy, tire pressure, your radio, and then this is all your safety features. So you have forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, which that thing on the side, I don't know if you could see it, but that will blink yellow when someone's coming on your blind spot. And then you have lane departure assist. So it's not lane keep assist, but it's lane departure assist. So when you're going off on the side, you know, in the highway, you're kind of going off on lane, it'll start beeping at you and say, hey, come in the center. This steering wheel is a leather wrapped heated steering wheel. There's actually heating controls right there in the center. Let's turn that on. And you have volume controls on the side, skip your songs, this is your cruise control on this side, and this has intelligent cruise control. So it's pretty cool when a vehicle in front of you is slowing down, you'll slow down. When they speed up, it'll speed up according to what you set it to. Now coming onto the center touchscreen, I really like this. Now you do have physical buttons on the side, 
but it's also touchscreen. So I like how they have physical like that to just simply change the brightness, just easily go to the menu, boom, done, simple. This has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. So it's all built in, integrated, very nice. And this also does have a backup camera. Put the vehicle in reverse, and you have a backup camera with moving trajectory lines. And it'll beep at you when you come close to things, say, hey, stop, watch out. And it actually brakes for you automatically. So if you come really, really close to something, it'll lock the brakes immediately so you don't crash into anything. Below the touchscreen, you have AC vents that swivel. They're actually fun to play with. Your heated seat, heated steering wheel buttons, the physical AC controls, sit that on or off. I know a lot of new car companies are going with the touchscreen. People don't like that, they want physical buttons. Down there, you have a USB-C, USB-A, aux cable. This does not have a wireless charging pad. That's your auto start stop button. If people don't like that, just hit it off and it goes away. Your gear shifter here, put it into drive and you got low and then you also got a sport mode. That's this little button there. And that changes that to DS. And also, before I forget, there's an eco mode. Just hit that, and you're in eco mode. Now, you cannot do that in sport mode. If you just do it in sport mode, it changes to sport mode. You go to eco mode, you can't. So you have to be in normal. Dual cup holders, a little spot for some change. Leather armrest, which is very comfortable, very nice. I've been resting my arm on that. Open it up, you got, oh wow, that's really deep storage to put everything you need. So coming around to the back of the Sentra, I really like it. You have these wraparound taillights, Sentra logo, Nissan logo, and then right here in the bumper, you have Sentra imprinted there. And the overall back design of this like kind of race car diffuser like, this plastic piece, it really is nice. And you got a backup camera, but the trunk is pretty cool because you have a button for the trunk there, it opens up, but you have another one. You actually have two more, so you have Open this up, there's a button right at the door there, and then you also have one which I showed you earlier, the key fob. So just hit that, and the trunk opens. Not a lot of vehicles have three different ways, but this trunk is very, very spacious. So this one specifically comes with a cargo net, you can take that out and some mate might not come with it, but I could just fit in here totally fine. I could fit two of me. And the cool thing is you could take down those rear seats also to give you even more room. Well, let's also say you're shopping and you have shopping bags. Well, they have hooks that you could put shopping bags on. So just hang them there, easy access. That was a quick review of the 2024 Nissan Sentra SV. What do you think of this vehicle? Do you like it or do you absolutely hate it? And do you think it's worth the $25,000? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep updated with more content. And a huge thank you to Executive Jeep Nissan of North Haven, Connecticut for allowing me to use this vehicle for the day. Their information will be linked down in the description below.